Dare to dream with me, my friends. The Minutemen. The Minutemen are an integral and key part of um, any kind of settlement build through, playthrough. They are the builders, they are the ones that want to recreate safe places for people to live. And Sanctuary, of course, is a key part of any settlement playthrough. It's the first big one that you get. And if you've been watching this series, you'll know that I've shown you uh, how to do the roofs and the floors and the walls. Uh, we fully decorated this um, uh, canteen mess hall over here. Play. There's a full video on that one. There's a full video on this massive dormitory over here and how you create and decorate that inside there and today it is the turn of our minute man outpost uh, we've still got a couple of other buildings left to do which will be part of this series but as part of today's video i will show you um how to create um, this uh lovely armory and um stockist reserve here the kind of communication area here um various little random decorations around the place we're going to be talking a bit about lighting today we've got this kind of uh, wasteland doctor area here to patch up our soldiers in the midst of their uh, combat um, a place for them to kind of uh, sleep at night which is separate obviously from all the civilians uh, sleeping areas and the commander's um, room here as well so can we build it can you build it can we build it together over the course of the next half an hour of course we can First of all, you will see that I have got this lovely uh, kind of porch thing um, uh, all the way around the edge of my Minuteman outpost. This was actually a suggestion from one of my lovely viewers um, on Twitter who tweeted their version of this to me, which I really enjoyed. And it's really easy to do. Um, and I've also um, extended the roof um, one more from my previous video. Um, rather than having just one, two, three, four, I've actually got one, two, three, four, five to give um, a bigger overhang, which allows this kind of porch thing to take place. You'll also notice that I've got a one section which is flat and one section which is divided. Now, if you want to do these porch things, you can just do it with the this small flat um, bits of roof that you find um, in um, in the wood section, or you can do what I did then with just a piece of junk fence and either a concrete po pillar, seems to be the most popular one, but a piece of scaffolding, and uh, you can um, put that uh, all those different pieces kind of in place. And as you can see, this house is already pre-prepared uh, due to what I've done on my previous video where I showed how to do the roofs and the doors and the house and the ceilings. The link to that video is in uh, the description, but I don't want to do that in this video because obviously that is um, uh, repeating things I've done before. And then it's time for us to decorate. And as you can see, I've got it running on very fast speed. And I do have, just for the ease of speed, I do have place everywhere running here. But almost everything I... I I do today will be able to be done without place everywhere with either the group select glitch or the rug or the uh, the rug glitch the surface glitch and as you can see um, like I've said in my previous videos start off with your your surfaces and your really big objects so I started off with a few rugs and uh, now I'm putting in um, the kind of individual walls and kind of tweaking about and things like this and in a minute I'll start to put the pictures and posters up as well. This just makes the whole process so much easier. Now, the other thing that I did before I started is I I got together with my, my channel on Twitch and we, we wrote down all of the different things that could potentially go into the Minuteman HQ. Um, and by the way, I'm using here the one of the weapon racks. I was, I was kind of looking through all the different options the other day and I found this grill kind of weapon rack, which obviously you can put a weapon on, but I thought that is exactly what I'm looking for to kind of create this... Um, uh, kind of uh, armory type look. So I wanted to be able to see into the armory without necessarily being able to get into the armory. And all of the kind of different windows didn't really kind of work exactly how I wanted to. Um, and so you can use these weapon racks and the weapon racks actually uh, will uh, clip to each other. So that small piece of wooden board that I've just put probably behind my head here, um, I put that on the floor, then the weapon rack actually clipped to that and then the other weapon rack, rack actually clipped to that. So the mod I'm going to show you now or use now is called Filled Weapon Displays and the link will be um, in the description or any of the mods you want. Just look at my full mod list and you'll see everything I'm using here. And basically this just puts filled weapon displays onto the wall which obviously speeds up um, the process a lot. Now one of the problems with the sanctuary walls in general is some of them are completely flat which means you can put pictures and, and displays onto them and some of them are really, really bent. 
uh, which makes putting any kind of surface, any kind of flat surface object on them really, really tricky. Um, and luckily, in filled weapon displays, there are a couple of displays that have huge weapons on, um, the Fat Man and so on. You can see them going here. And although the backboard isn't visible, the weapon itself actually comes straight through, um, which I think works um, really, really well. Unless you, I and mean, obviously with all these things, if you go up to it and look to look in great detail, you can kind of see where things kind of cut through. But actually, from a distance, I think it looks. Um, really, really, really good. And I'm going to put a couple of these filled weapon displays into the, the cupboard that I created um, down the end of the hall um, with a couple of concrete pillars and a, a door. And that's going to be where my guys are going to go and get all their um, little goodies. Then, of course, I just need a man to go and stand in the shop. Now, the shop I'm using there is a level three vendor. And I'm using the mod, uh, what's it called? Vendor, enhanced vendors, uh, immersive vendors. Um, which gives a, um, a one version which has a flat top which fits in a lot better. However, if you don't have that one, you can just use the group select glitch and you can get them in. And then I'm continuing to put in the big objects, your tables, your chairs, your filing cabinets, and uh, and so on and things like that. Although at that point I realized I hadn't finished putting in my wall displays because you should do floors and then walls and then um, other bits of bobs. And I'm just going around and putting flags um, in place. Now, the thing about um, flags and all kind of posters is... Um, you can put them onto the wall, but if they won't go exactly where you want them to go, you can get them in. Firstly, with Place Everywhere if you're on PC, but if you're not on Place Everywhere, um, then you can actually do it relatively easily um, anyway. And I'll show you that just in one second on this video using the Group Select glitch. But basically what you're going to do is you go and put the, po the, the poster or the flag onto... Um, a pre-made surface, so a, so a Bethesda wall. Put another object right next to it, group select both of them together, and then that flag or that poster will come away with you. And then when you take away the original object or the second object, it will it'll then just stay in place. So I'm going to do it here. So I put that flag on that Bethesda made wall, and then I grabbed a random object, this cigarette machine, and group selected them. I accidentally picked up a power armor as well, so I put it down, took off the power armor, and and off we go again uh, with this particular object. And when wherever I put this, the flag will just stay or the poster will just stay. So if you don't have place anywhere, everywhere, then any of the other posters or any of the other objects that I'm showing you can be put into place using this trick. Obviously, if you've got place everywhere, it all goes a lot quicker. The table that I'm showing you there comes from a mod called We Are The Minutemen, uh, which was a really, really nice uh, decorated table, which has all kind of bunch of stuff in it. And I really liked the idea with The Minutemen that we were gonna have these kind of posters from the past. And because there isn't a lot of locations where I think you can really kind of use these pictures. And so I wanted to kind of embrace it here and you know, have these guys be all about history. And what I'm doing here is I'm using the Place Everywhere mod to put it roughly into place and then just kind of move them exactly where I want them. Um, but of course, you can use that little uh, group select trick that I showed you guys um, before. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm covering some of the kind of shelvering units. Now, you could put shelves in and fill it with junk, and I will be doing that with some of the other sections. But I wanted to vary up. I didn't want every single place I made just to be kind of full of um, shelves full of stuff. And so I'm using the bigger pictures to cover um, some of those kind of big cutaways um, and then kind of varying out of the other things. Then I've got a mod called Law Friendly Posters, but the, the new Vault Tech DLC will probably do equally well. Um, but Law Friendly Posters has all lots of kind of comic books and things. So I'm putting in um, various kind of um, ammo related ones and I put some kind of some girly pictures into the, the bedroom and uh, a few other bits and bobs just kind of around the place but I want most wall surfaces to have something on it whether it's a shelf whether it's a poster whether it's a flag um, whether it's even a light but but you but the the buildings I think look best when you can, when there's something in most locations um, and I think that's uh, where um, the, the the pictures are really handy, and then of course I'm back now. I now I've got, I've got all my kind of surfaces done. I'm now back to my kind of big objects, my beds, my tables, um, and I'll lastly to kind of do the chairs. And now this big table here, I think, works really really nice uh, for the uh, for the generals' room. But I also have a mod called Do It Yourself, which has recently just uh, uh, included added this D DIY counter. And if you sink it into the floor. Um, then you can actually create a really kind of posh desk feel. Now, unfortunately, if you're not using Place Everywhere, you won't be able to do the rug and the floor and the table because you can't push them through each other. Um, but if you do have Place Everywhere, then you can do that little trick there. And what I'm doing is, I'm put, again, I'm putting all these kind of bookcases and do-it-yourself objects into place because um, I'm going to fill them with stuff later. If you don't have the mod do-it-yourself, you must go get it. I've used it in basically all of my mod things so far because you can just put huge amounts of decorations on objects 
very, very, very quickly. And if you don't have it and you can't use mods, then you can recreate the same effect. It'll just unfortunately take you a lot longer. So as you can see here, I'm, I'm slowly building up the pieces piece by bit by bit. Uh, every chair, every, every big object. You'll notice so far there's no clutter and there's no kind of individual objects going down yet. It's all about the kind of big objects. So I can stand back in every single room and go, does that look right? Is the balance of that room right? Does that feel good? Um, I put a big display case in here and I find the display case is really hard to get in place. Um, they're very, very fussy about where they'll go. And there's actually a light behind there that I think is causing quite a few problems. Um, and I eventually ended up using the uh, the mod to kind of to, to, to push it in. But if any of you, have, you guys have any other suggestions for things that are going, that'd be good. Um, things that I couldn't include in this design in the end was a, uh, a kind of workout area. I did want to have one in, but there wasn't room. And... Um, but we'll see what we end up with um, on the roof. And I'm just putting some lockers in here. Now the bunk bed comes from a mod, but a single bed would equally do. And if you go back and watch my uh, one of my bedroom videos, the first bedroom video I did, then I show you how you can actually make a bunk bed. Um, use, again, using the group select glitch, put one bed on top of the other, and then you can put them in. So you can actually fake bunk beds and the settlers actually use both. Um, so we're coming roughly to the end of the, uh, the kind of the first half of the video here, because in a second, all of the big objects are going to be in place and we can we can kind of do that kind of feng shui thing of looking back at every single room and kind of going right yeah is there room for the settlers to get around does the room kind of feel lived in do i like where the objects are um is it now ready for me to start putting all the extra little tricks and um and items to kind of complete the design and when you are ha you will save yourself so much time if you do all of this big stuff and the wall stuffs first and then kind of just walk around a few times until you are happy and then we'll add all the little stuff. So I'm going to assume that you can more or less kind of see what I'm doing here, although it is very, very quickly. Some of it is just manually placed objects like these um, uh, hats and uh, guns, which are going into the display cabinet and other objects are um, from mods like Dino's decorations, do it yourself, etc., etc., which drastically speed up the decoration uh, process. But here's some more unusual stuff. Find Mama Murphy, shoot her in the head, and then pick up her chair. Mama Murphy is the only NPC, as far as I'm aware, that will always stay sat in a chair, which means if you put her chair behind a desk, you've just got yourself someone sitting on a desk um, or sitting at a desk. Secondly, um, don't forget to some items require power or will do more if they are powered. So I just put a TV on one of the desks there to look like a terminal but of course it's going to need power if i actually want that kind of effect on it because you may not want the if the, the 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 you may not want it to work um but so what i'm doing here is just the the old thing of putting conduits around the edge i'm a little trick i found the other day and this this may be completely popularly known but if you put two conduits on both sides of the corner so if the corner's like that you put one conduit here one conduit there you can actually put a wire between them which means you can take conduits all around the outside you guys may have been doing that for months and months but it was new to me and i was like oh this is exciting um and so we're here we're putting on mama murphy's um, gear. Now I've got a mod on called uh, Trade with Settlers, uh, which has enabled me to very, very quickly kind of trade with all of these guys. If you want to trade, if you want to change what the um, the guy is, the, the trader itself is wearing, um, then you need to speak to him, not just trade with him. You need to kind of say, "Oh, I'd like to swap items with you," and then you can kind of trade it over. Uh, quick trade was the item that made me uh, speak to the, the settlers very, very quickly. And then what I like to do is just go through my miscellaneous decorations section. And every time I kind of come across an object, I think, oh, that would go in a certain room. I just start kind of shoving it down. I find that's a quicker way of doing it rather than kind of going to a desk and go, right, what goes on this desk? I go through my decorations and I kind of go, oh, that will go here, that'll go here. And so you'll see me kind of running around the whole building quite a lot here, um, just kind of putting different things in different places. Uh, some of this comes from... Uh, Eleonora's GTX 9000 mod, like that computer terminal did here. Um, but all, what I'm kind of doing is 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 thinking what would go in each location. I've got a general's, general's desk and a general's shelves. What's going to be on it? Well, he's going to be writing stuff. He's going to be dictating, dictating stuff. Maybe there'll be a globe. Uh, maybe the person at reception will need some kind of coffee for people. Um, and a stack for filing cabinets. And so um, it's, it's worth having a look at some photos. And I've done this for quite a few of my builds now. Just Google what it is you're trying to make. You know, general's desk, uh, watchtower. Um, so A, you can look at other people's designs, but also look at real life ones as well. You know, what are the things that actually appear in real life on a general's desk or in a, uh, a military outpost? Look what's on the desk and try and replicate it um, as much as you can. Um, I, I genuinely do that. And that's not just like one of those like those like hollow tips that people kind of sort of say. I, I find it gives me so many more ideas looking at reality to kind of go, oh yeah, of course there would be um, a cup on there or a tea set on there, which I might not have considered. Um, and again, here I'm going through, there's another little mod called, um, it's called someone's containers. Let me just see if I can get it really quickly. 
Uh, Miss Ray's unique containers, which had a, a weapon rack and a, uh, a medical one, which is what, uh, that one there, the medical storage, uh, which is kind of like, it looks really, really nice. And the new vault, um, oh, just a more on this one, that, that's a weapons rack, but remember these items are aesthetic rather than um, uh, really to be used. So it's often worth just tilting them ever so slightly towards the door. So when you kind of look in, you see the items. Um, from, from the door, whether it's a radio or whether it's a weapons rack like that, just tilt it just tiny little bit towards the door. Um, this medical rack here is part of the new Vault DLC, uh, which I thought was perfect for going into here. Um, I haven't got a stretcher. Does anyone know any mods that have got a stretcher in there? Because alternatively to the bed, I could put a uh, um, kind of stretcher piece in there. Uh, that, oh, that little thing on the floor there is also one of uh, Miss Ray's unique containers. Uh, which is very 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 good. Um, Dino's decorations has been expanded to include some new weapon stuff, and um, so I was kind of filling out those there. There's there's a wonderful one with like three guns on a on like um, little kind of rack things that looks looks beautiful, like are kind of on display, and you'll see them go up here in a second. Um, and obviously because this is the general, it's not so kind of equipment based. It's a little bit more decorative. So we've got a bit of wine and we've got a few books, and the shelf behind me, which is behind the door, um, is now kind of a, a, a full on library. Um, a little trick that I've used before in my farming video is you can actually attach other shelves to the front of the vendor's shelves, and you can even attach do it yourself shelves to the front of the. Uh, um, the vendors and it's almost it's always, it's always worth kind of going around um, after you kind of think you're finished and trying to find spaces and thinking can I put something here so underneath this windowsill was looking a little bit bare so again I just shoved in another couple of uh, um, spaces there uh, sometimes things won't go into place remember sometimes it's where the object is but sometimes it also seems to be where you're standing as well so try moving closer to it and looking down try moving to the side of it and looking across you'll sometimes find something which is completely impossible, actually just you needed you to stand in a slightly different place and it'll be like, yeah, of course I'll go in, which is deeply frustrating, but it does actually work. Um, things like terminals, of course, although they are useful, are also um, very handy for kind of decorative purposes. And um, yeah, this one is, this one's a little bit more sordid. Um, the hospital bed, I felt, needed someone in it. And there was a dead minute man over there that I took their clothes off, and so we're just going to pick her up and carry her in. Um, and you could, you could in theory, use the same thing for the bunk beds or the bed. If you wanted someone to be kind of permanently there, find a dead minute man and put them on that bed. Uh, this one I kind of stripped down because I thought it looked more kind of hospital-like, and uh, you can pick them up by holding down the kind of action button and kind of bringing them in, and they're quite hard to position. Uh, I found the best way to position them was to actually hold them above the bed a little bit and drop them from a great height. It meant they kind of landed a little bit more kind of naturally. Um, but I think that having a patient in that bed looks a lot better. Now let's have a little quick look at the roof. I would love your guys' suggestions here for what to put on this roof. I've kind of made the roof ready to put something on it, but what would you put on it? Um, I always found when putting thing, when doing stairs, it's a lot easier to go from the top to the bottom than from the bottom to the top. So, so just get up to wherever you're going as quickly as possible using whatever mess of stairs you want, and then kind of come down, because things clip to the top platforms, and then they kind of go through the floor when you get down to the bottom. Um, the, sca the new scaffolding equipment from the is it Contraptions DLC is brilliant, of course, because it means you can do these kind of curved stairways and then you can just easily put um, the scaffolding underneath um, to kind of support them. And so I've got that kind of right angled stairway. And as you saw in the introductory video, I've just kind of stuck a guard post on the uh, on the top there and uh, our, our little... Uh, uh, our little member Tegan will eventually find a way up there, but if you, I'd, I'd love your suggestions for what you would put. Now, to finish this video today, I'd like to talk to you about lighting. Uh, this is part of my diner build from last video, and sometimes when you do a room or a vault or whatever it is you're building, you just want everything to have as much light in it as um, possible. But make sure you don't miss out on a bit of a trick here, because you can use lighting to bring character to a room as well. I mean, look at the way this bathroom for example is lit up very differently a slightly kind of yellowy green tint to it not everything kind of fully lit, lit up but it looks a lot more kind of um mysterious so i really took some time and effort with um this uh, minuteman hq uh, nothing unusual here i've got the industrial wall lights outside but make sure when you're outside you use outside lights and highlight various things as you can see most of the building is kind of in the dark but i've got at least one flag kind of highlighted and probably when, when we finish doing the top we'll add some more at the top here i've added a few more little bits of signage around i quite like the police sign there we had a bit of debate in the chat but i really liked the police sign for the minutemen other people said no way 
it's not part of the uh, the Minuteman idea. I even used one to kind of cover the guns, guns, guns there to like make it look more like an armory. But other people said, no, 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 just cover it with a bit of wood or um, kind of put a, uh, a gun rack in front of it. So <laughs> join in our debate. Tell me if you like the police signs as part of the Minuteman stuff. Um, or not. But my point is here is look what I've done with the lighting. I've tried to rather than illuminate the whole room to pick out specific objects and deliberately put certain objects into shadow. And I'm sure some of you will will hate this and others of you will think oh it looks looks pretty cool. Um, but I've deliberately as you can see used shadow and light to kind of bring a uh, kind of a look to a certain area. So when I kind of look through here I can see you. certain guns are kind of Brought, I can see certain guns, but I can't see absolutely everything, and the red lighting there gives a bit of kind of balance to it. Um, and the way that's done, most of this has actually been done with these small little spotlights here, and they're called the the track lights. I'm just going to grab this one here, um, and you get one one that comes from the ceiling and one that comes from the bottom, and they're very much directional, as you can see here, as I kind of whip it around. And what's really good about that is that the closer you get to an object, the less of it you light up, if at all. And the further away you get from an object, the kind of broader, but perhaps kind of fainter the light is. So by putting the light in a little kind of corner like this, firstly, it kind of hides the light itself a little bit, but it also means I can choose to light up kind of certain areas like the Minuteman flag while leaving the other area in the dark. Uh, this strip light here gave the same kind of effect of illuminating Mama Murphy while leaving this bit here a bit darker. I could probably illuminate the... the um, the vendor here might be a good idea. Um, this was a vault light. Um, I'm not sure I like the design of it, but I did like the way it kind of a, gave a kind of slightly unnatural glow um, to the whole thing. Um, this was the uh, the fluorescent light, the non-vault one. I really like the kind of yellowy look here. And I, thought, I felt that this was really important. At the end of the, the, the hallway here, you've got these guns. And without an extra light, you couldn't see them. So I actually snuck a little wall light just in behind that door and the pillars and I think from a distance now that looks really 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 um, good or at least I think so um, and I, with every room I tried to come up with lighting that was effective for that particular purpose um, so I felt this one kind of looked more like this ceiling light looked more like a kind of hospital light very white it emphasizes the kind of whiteness of the the room and oh dear god someone's sleeping with my patient well, romance is clearly a thing. And I also use this uh, white lamp in the corner again to kind of push more and more white into this room while um, pushing other colors into other rooms. So this one, the the bedroom, I wanted it to, I wanted to be able to see the bed, but I didn't want to be able, I wanted it to be a dark room because obviously people will be sleeping in here quite a lot. Um, so what I did was I grabbed one of these, these bulb lights. And then if you've got place everywhere, you can just kind of push it up like this. Um, and you, I'm assuming you could probably do it with the group select trick as well, but I'm not sure. But I just kind of pushed it up and kind of arranged it just so it just hit just a touch of locker, a touch of bed and a little bit of post, which I think gives a really nice kind of ambiance to the look, especially so I, I prefer them being on the kind of slightly yellow um, spectrum rather than the kind of uh, the, the whitish one. And then lastly, but not leastly, we've got the... Um, the commander, the general's room itself. And again, I went for slightly yellower lights here and I deliberately highlighted just the edges of the chairs, the main chair itself, and I put a small oil lamp um, in front of the flag. So it kind of just picks up. If you just, as you walk into that room, I think it looks very, very grand. And again, your, your eyes are drawn to certain um, items more than others. So uh, next time you try and light something up, um, especially if it's kind of an outside place where you'll spend more of your time there during the day anyway, you know, have a think about the lighting. You know, try using more directional lighting um, to emphasize and highlight rather than just to illuminate the whole thing. So there we go. That's it. That is um, Minuteman um, HQ. Let me know what you think. Let me know what ideas you steal. Let me know Let me know uh, how you would have improved it or you would have changed it. Um, let me know um, if you like these videos, what you'd like to see me decorate next. I'm thinking of doing a kind of player home in a kind of a, in a similar kind of a style. Um, this, obviously using these mods, with like the weapons ones and the, the do-it-yourself are incredibly resource hungry. Um, and if you are on consoles, you may find you hit your settlement limit very, very quickly kind of using them. But if you do have a PC and a PC that can cope with it, I think the amount of stuff here is just beautiful. And um, it really does feel like, for me, to me, like this is the, the military um, base in Sanctuary. Excellent, the military base in Sanctuary um, for all. 
uh, to keep all of the settlers safe. Thank you for watching. It's been great to have you here. Please like the video. Uh, do check out the mod links in the um, descriptions for all the ones I've used today. And um, I'll see you in the next one. I've got loads of mod reviews, videos, and role plays as well. It'd be great if you had a little look at them. Take care. Bye-bye.